Morning. Good morning. How you doing? Um, so as you can see, it's not the best of days today, but you know, we'll grab a coffee, do a bit of warming up, and and see how we get on that, Craig. So as you can see by the sacks of cement and all the rest of it, I'm still doing up my place, but you're just trying to create this base here, and you know, in Margalef for climbing. So I'll show you around. So we're gonna go up to Finestra and we're gonna try some of the projects up there. So we need to kind of get the get the monos fired up. There's two finger pockets ready. So we'll do a bit of warming up on the beast maker and then we'll we'll head out. Marga left 20 years ago was literally sort of like abandoned as a village and then climbers gradually sort of got hold of it and started developing routes and now it's become this place where people come from all over the world to come out here, climb and enjoy themselves on the conglomerate rock. I just start with like some just general pull-ups. Actually pretty old school but like I normally just do like 10 pull-ups, get the shoulders warmed up, get the chest warmed up with a few press-ups and stuff and then start with some easy hangs. What's the hardest route you've ever climbed? Today it's probably like Gancho Perfecto in Finestra as well. Just because I think it's like mentally taxing as well. It's got like a really heartbreaker last move. What's her name? Ellie. The crack dog. Yeah. Tom, you're king of the monos. How do you warm up for a mono? So I start with like three fingers on an edge. Say like this one, the middle one. And I'll do like a hang there a little bit. Two might be like slightly bigger one. And we we'll do like two fingers. And then we'll go for this sort of like the jug mono. If there's a thing. Okay, we can just get there. And we'll do the jug mono. Oh, Tom. Everybody's different. Like sometimes I see people like doing warm ups and I think, Jesus, you know, if I did that, I'd be destroyed. But then, you know, vice versa, it's kind of like, what works for you. Warm up done? Yep, I think we're ready. I'm going to pull in some real monos now. Margalef is definitely unique. It's got these amazing valleys lined with huge conglomerate walls. It's probably one of the biggest conglomerate climbing areas in the world and it's absolutely packed with hard routes. It lends itself beautifully to developing new routes of all grades. You could be at one crag where there's from four plus to 9B, you know, within 200 meters. And I don't think that that really exists in a, in a lot of other places. So this is the journey, starting down there just by the, the small tree and fire straight up through this wall. We're thinking 9A plus to the first anchor and then from there onwards, you know, it's been mentioned 9B plus or something like that. First section is like, Fairly good holds, but like really barely, and it's mega steep. It's basically a roof, this first section. You get these two holds here, make a sort of like high clip, and then you start just this section, then just keep going. So from here, it's like a high foot. Cross it. So I worked on it loads last spring because I had a bit of time off from when I was working. I put a lot of work into it there and got pretty close. I'll put the clip in just for just for working it but when I 
give it a go from the ground. I like leave these out just because otherwise it's too tempting to clip. So for this move, this is like one of the ones where I just, I just can't do it with the tape on. So for the proper go, I'll like whip the tape off and, and go for it. See you clip here. Yeah. The extension's bolted, but there's one move that hasn't been done yet. So it's kind of like still there is the, is the big project. So what do you do now? Now you've come off that route, what's your usual process? Well, today it was just like, because it's not that nice a day and it's pretty cold, just try and stay like warm. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or something and or a little bit longer and give it a go. Do you get nervous, Tom, before something like this? Yeah, I think it's, but it's good, isn't it? It's part of the- Excitement. It's part of the process, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing, especially when it's your own route. Yeah. Like, it just sort of like, builds it up, but it's, it's a good thing. Tom, high point. <laughs> yeah, psyched. Didn't expect it on a day like this, to be honest. I had like freezing cold hands, like halfway up. Made that last last clip, I felt really clumsy, just like, ugh, my hands weren't working properly. It's cool because it's like the first step of what really is like the big project as well. It's like earning the right to then try the top part as well, so that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. How close was that? Did you get like that feeling in your stomach? You're like, I might send this. Yeah, until I was like, I could just feel my hands just felt so clumsy, like cold, freezing cold. But yeah, it was good, it was good, it was good fun. I felt all right, but you know, you just gotta stick with it, haven't you? 